another hood fireworks classic. Another hood fireworks classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's your boy Like VIP, and we back. This time, we're gonna be talking about Gunner, the homie that uh down with YSL. I just want to uh, give everybody an update on what's going on with that man and that whole situation. So without further ado, we're going to play a little clip of him going to court and what what he done as far as, you know, taking a guilty plea and being released. And let's get into it. In court, some startling statements. Please state after each statement whether or not you agree or acknowledge that the statements are true. Yes, ma'am. I became affiliated with YSL around 2016. Is that true as it pertains to you, Mr. Kitchens? Yes, ma'am. YSL is a music label and a game, and you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. Yes, ma'am. Okay. First and foremost, Anybody that says that the man ain't snitching. Surprise, motherfucker. He did. I mean, there's no, there's really nothing to uh, combat that. The, the lady clearly said that you know of members of this gang, this music company label, record label. You know of them, of committing crimes and things of that nature. The man said, yes, I do. So any brother that's a part of that, that did anything, uh, you know, criminal activity, he just let it be known that he's aware of it. And he told those people that he's aware of it. Let's continue. You were present when law enforcement officers stopped the vehicle in which you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, wherein hydrocodone, methamphetamines, and a firearm were recovered. These items did not belong to you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. On top of that, he was asked if him and Young Thug, when they was in a car, the drugs, hydrocodone in particular, and guns, did not belong to him. And he stated for the record, yes, ma'am, meaning they did not belong to me. So who else did they belong to? Surprise, motherfucker. He snitched. Let's continue. And do you acknowledge the following statement? I recognize, accept, and deeply regret that my talent and music indirectly furthered YSL the game to the detriment of my community. YSL as a game must end. Is that your statement or acknowledgement? Yes. <laughs> okay. Now he said that he acknowledged that YSL as a music company and a gang or a music company or a gang, however you want to pronounce whatever she said, however you want to say it, must end. And he said, yes, ma'am. Surprise, motherfucker. That's snitching. That's, that's pretty much going against everything that you stood for. That's very 6 9 ish That's very uh, Ratatouille-ish. Uh, and that's just what it is. I was on my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. At I-T-Z-H-F. You dig? With that being said, everybody's, you know, saying snitch, but then a lot of people's also giving some pushback. You know, um... It's a lot of things going on right now, man. 2022 is ending really, really, really crazy right now. It's 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 up. You know what I'm saying? It's going out with a bunch of weird commotion, crazy things going on, you know what I'm saying? And my thoughts is this and exactly and leave it at this. We was gang, gang, gang. Y'all got locked up. And then Obviously, some people's gonna fold. Gonna talk all that talk, and he folded. Simple as that. It is what it is. 
I mean, I don't understand how you can't, you know, synthesize that that whole court situation right there, man. That's that's wild for people to even say that he's not snitching now. I don't care if they can can or can't use it. Okay? That doesn't matter. You publicly and on the record went against the team. You got brothers in there representing the same thing you represent. And they being ridiculed, uh, demonized, dehuman, dehumanized, and they looking bad. And you go out and say the guns and the drugs was not yours when you was in the car with, with, with young Doug. You go out and say that, yes, you acknowledge that it is a gang. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you yes, you know of people in the gang that does bad stuff, yada, 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 yada. I don't think that that's a part of the code as far as what you claim that you represent and what you claim to be. So all the youth out there that's uh, following behind the rappers and inspired by the rappers to do the uh, negativity or just be in the same type of breath or same type of lifestyle as them rappers that claim to be tough guys and gangsters and all this other stuff, man. At the end of the day, when the bars come, the, the metal bracelets come, you did. It's a wrap. Either you're going to have to own up to it or you're going to have to play ball with the enemy. According to what, what y'all call enemy. So at the end of the day, if he look in the mirror, he's going to say, you know what? Do, do I sleep well at night? I, I know Thug is in there. I'm in a bed right now, a nice, good bed right now, most likely. Nice, beautiful home, most likely. Beautiful women by the side of me, a.k.a. the BBL Bandit. Shout out to the BBL Bandit trending on Twitter. The BBL Bandit's trending on Twitter. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, I don't know, man. I think that he will definitely say, man, I'm so happy to be out. I'm so grateful. Thank you, God, for another chance. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to be a good dude. You know what I'm saying? All this other stuff. Uh, I'm thinking he's thinking that. Who knows? But uh, I would like to know what he thinks when he looks himself in the mirror and knows that his brothers are still in there and he pretty much denounced them. Like I said, whether or not they can or can't use it against them in the court of law, his brethren, I don't know if they're going to be able to use it or not. I'm not a lawyer, but I do know what I heard. I ain't crazy. With that being said, it's your boy Lock VIP. Holla us on all platforms where you listen to your podcast at. Just search the Medlocks Podcast. That's where you're going to catch us. If you're on YouTube, check us out on the Medlock Show. You dig what I'm saying? Everything we do is family orientated. It's a family affair. It's the black millennial couple. You understand what I'm saying? The Medlocks. You already know what it is. Like, share, subscribe to the videos. Like, share, subscribe to all of the content that we got on all the different social media platforms. And I'm out. You're already half. Another Hood Fibers Classic. Another Hood Fibers Classic.